what's up youtube this rose go back and give another video now check it out trust in white rain water now they on they're on different people platforms and they're giving out each other's phone numbers people so if you want their number check out these bloggers because they you know they got it recorded they out here giving out people phone numbers each other's phone numbers I see, I see why people can't take us serious, man. I see why other races don't take us serious, man. I'm telling you, just be tripping now. But at the same time, people are still going on about now they're saying Charleston White is lying on rainwater about this $10,000, $20,000, about the money part, about the money part, right? But they still overlooking what he said about Mo3. This is what, look, this still pissing me off, all right? It's still pissing me off. Like, we know this shit has been said before, but nobody really took heed to it. Like, they taking heed to it now when Charleston White said it, all right? Now, some people are going straight to what he said about the Mo3 situation. And they setting aside the rest of that stuff. Yeah, the rest of that stuff can get handled too, but let's do the first thing. Is what's first is Mo three, and does Rainwater know more than what he has been saying and what he's not been saying? Okay, next is what do you know about Mo three's death, about this setup? Now it's been said that Rainwater signed Bumpy Johnson, and Bumpy Johnson is an alleged affiliate of Trap Boy Freddy. Now, how does that look, Rainwater? How does that look? Huh? I'm just saying, how does that look? <sighs> These managers and shit, they do the strangest things, man. God damn. I mean, how does that look? This was an affiliate of Trap Boy Freddy, and we all know the songs that Trap Boy Freddy has put out right after Mo3 died. I mean, come on, man. And he was on the damn <sighs> overlooking the highway, should I say. You know what I'm saying? The same day this was happening to Mo3. So it's like, man, come on, man. Come on, man. Really, man? This how we getting down, people? <sighs> I tell you what names don't sound right when you say Mo3 and it's all in the same sentence is Rainwater and Boosie. When you put them two names in the same sentence as Mo3, you know it's some shit. All right? You know it's some shit. And if you know, you know, man. Damn. So these are crazy times we live in, boys and girls. You can't trust no damn body. As we can see, look at the Dolph situation. Them pre-boys. Oh, shit, man. It's crazy out here. Because if I got that much love for somebody, I'm not going to go to the other side. Before you die or after you die. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to be doing that. So if you was doing that, so that's all the more to tell me that Rainwater was still talking to Yellow Bees and them, even though they had the little fight and shit like that. And sometimes y'all was, was still talking, man. Stop it. Something. Something. Or y'all talking nothing. You know what I'm saying? Since, since you know, Mo 3's gone. Now, I thought Trap Boy Freddy and Yellow had them a, some type of, if not together, but a, uh, individually, had them a old record label thing. So I'm wondering why didn't Bob, Bumpy Johnson, you know, go to them. But if you think about it, people... See, Rainwater is more like, even though he says he's a manager, he's to me, he's more like a scout person. And he brings them to Empire with the real money. You see what I'm saying? So then you have to do your third party shit. You feel me? That, that, that's what I get him from him. Like a janky promoter. <laughs> a snaky promoter. You know what I'm saying? So he didn't sign Bumpy Johnson, right? I guess the HSM, right? And you know he's going to have some dealings with Empire. That's just how that shit going to go. And he's an affiliate with Trap Boy Freddy. Damn. People be bold as hell. You know what I'm saying? But like I always say, if you've been following the Mo3 case, man, you basically know 
what was going on with that, bro. Alright? It was so much stuff said when, when people was every day talking about Mo3, man, that that's why everybody's saying, man, this shit, Charleston White saying, yeah, Ben said, yeah. And I'm glad people was picking up on that because guess what? That mean a lot of people was picking up and was paying attention when Mo3 per first passed about who was on the highway and all this other goofy ass shit. Alright? So, you know, Earl Spence. And see, somebody got on me about, it's not Earl Spencer, it's Earl Spence. Okay, it's Earl Spence. I wouldn't give a damn. Do he got something to do with this Mo3 shit? I, ain't, I don't care if he your favorite boxer, whatever the shit it may be. But see, that type of person, guess what? That, that's the only message they pick up. Not what Rain, not what uh, Charleston White was saying about Rainwater and the Mo3, Mo3 situation. Uh-uh. That I was saying his name wrong, Earl Spence. But I said Earl Spencer. <laughs> we got to get it together, ladies and gentlemen. So what y'all think about this? I know how I feel about it. I feel like people need to start. Okay, we got it already talked down. He talking bad about the mothers and stuff. Now let's get on this rainwater shit. Can we start talking about rainwater position in this Mo3 damn case? Message.